All right, we're here today to talk about a suspicious death here that occurred right behind us at the Fulton County Jail. Uh, the death involved William Barnett. He was brought here uh, to the jail. He was arrested on July 15th uh, for a misdemeanor warrant, was brought here to the jail. We were told that on July 21st that he allegedly harmed himself in the cell by hitting his head up, up against the cell and self-inflicted wounds. We do not believe that's what happened. He went to Grady after that alleged injury. Grady released him without any issues. He came back to the jail here, and 24 hours later, he was dead. He was found dead in his cell. We're being told that he died of a cardiac issue, but the post-mortem photographs clearly show this man was beaten to death. This family is here today to get answers for the death of their loved one. The jail would not give us any answers regarding this death, no videos, no incident reports. This family is hurting, and we're asking for everyone that, that can help us with this case, please help us. Anyone that was in the Fulton County Jail from July 15th to July 22nd that has any answers or heard anything or saw anything regarding an inmate death, William Barnett, please contact my law office. Please contact this family. The phone number is 404-965-3565. Again, the main thing we want to report here is a suspicious death happened here at the Fulton County Jail. We're not getting answers from the jail. The GBI has not been called in to investigate. The family needs answers regarding the death of their loved one, William Barnett. I'm going to have you speak to have his sister speak to you now from the family impact. Um, hi, my name is Erica Morris. I'm the and um if, um, as some of you may know, my brother William Barnett was beaten and died inside of this jail, Fulton County, um, on Monday, July the 22nd. Um, he was there only a week, and we had spoke to him on Saturday, July the 20th. Um, and that day, on Monday, July the 22nd, they called us to say that he had fell ill and was found unresponsive. Um, since that day, we have not had any answers, nothing but untruths and saying that he did this to himself. When we finally were able to see his body, um, he was badly beaten from head to toe. Um, these were not self-inflicted wounds. Actually, some of them were defense wounds. And we're just here to get answers to find out if anyone out there, anyone who's inside the jail or has a loved one inside the jail, know what happened to him. Um, we have not had any assistance from any um, Atlanta Police Department, the uh, GBI, or any other law enforcement assistance. Um, I'm not understanding how they can investigate their own crime. So if anyone knows anything, my family is devastated. We don't have any answers. We're not even able to grieve properly. Um, just please reach out to us. Thank you. And let me also say that, just to, to put uh, the, the human face on this, you know, we often hear about these men being killed by police, killed at the jail, and it seems like society has become numb to this issue, that it happens so often that we hear about it and we're not outraged. But we should all be outraged as to what happened to William Barnett. He left four children behind, and they are here. Let me get the phone for you to come up in front here. This is the face of what happens. When these men are killed by police and are killed in the jail, they leave a family behind. None of us should be numb. None of us should just look at this as another person that's gone. It is a real human tragedy. And this is the face of that tragedy. These kids need answers as to what happened to their father as to why he died and how he died. And right now, we're getting nothing. It's been almost two months since he's died, and we have gotten no answers from the jail other than it being a cardiac issue. And clearly, it wasn't because the man's body was badly beaten. He was beaten to death, and we need answers. Thank you. Well, we're here because my brother died inside of this jail. Um, they have not been able to give us any answers. Um, they didn't even let us identify his body. They um, lied and said that he had did these things to himself. Um, after we initially seen his body um, from the funeral home, um, his back body was badly beaten. And so 
it through us for a loop. I mean, that means something has happened and someone had did this to him. We have tried numerous times to contact this jail. We've came here several times personally. We have had several meetings with the medical examiners. Um, and no, nothing, no answers. They're saying that they're investigating, but if you're saying that he did it to himself, what is it to investigate? Give us the reports. Let us know the people who found him. Can we ask them a question? We don't know anything. And it's just, it's very hard to deal with. You know? well, what exactly are you looking for? We want to know who did this to him. Who beat him? Why? And the fact that they're trying to cover it up is with the lies and the non-communication, it just furs to prove that something suspicious is going on. When you turn around, you see this turnout, how does it make you feel that uh, William was loved by all these people? Um, it reassures me um, that he, I know that he was a good person. He was a father, a brother, a son. He was a provider. He was a protector. And it's just sad as my heart. You know, nobody's perfect. But nobody is um, deserves to have their life taken, you know. So, you know, I know he has a lot of family. He has a lot of friends. And again, if for no one else, his kids, like, they needed him. And so it was, it's a difficult task to even grieve properly, to sleep at night, having slept in like seven weeks, you know. So it's like, it's just a lot. But, you know, I know this happens every day to people. So my heart goes out to the people who have already had to deal with this. And um, hopefully moving forward, we can kind of make this type of situation, you know, go away. Because again, nobody did deserve it. And I don't understand how a business can continue to operate when people's lives are being taken inside of them. Is there anything you'd like to add that I didn't um, Just to say that I, I love everyone and I appreciate all the support. Um, also, if you know anything, if you know anyone who know anything, if you have any answers, any resources, just please reach out. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for coming, man. That's for sure. Uh, I'm going to get up. We're here today mainly to get answers for the death of William Barnett. We know that he died here at the jail. We don't know how he died or why he died. And so far, the family has received very little information. So to answer your question, we're here for answers as to how and why he died. And the answers you got, you got, you guys are not satisfied with, right? That's correct. What we have been told by the medical examiner who did the initial autopsy was that she believes that he died of a cardiac issue. But the photographs that we got of his body showed that he was badly beaten. So we don't understand how they can call it a cardiac issue when clearly his body was beaten. We can provide those photos to the media. They're very sensitive photos, but, but we have proof that his body was beaten. And if it was a cardiac issue, it had to be a result of being beaten. And that could have been what caused the cardiac issue. So when you hear the, these answers from, I guess, city officials or from the coroner's office, that doesn't sit well with you. Well, the problem is all we've heard from is the coroner's office. What normally happens in these cases is that the, the, the Fulton County Jail will call the GBI in to investigate the death. The GBI has not been called in uh, to investigate the death. One thing I also want to say is that we've written a letter to Paul Howard's office of district attorney asking him to get involved, asking him to investigate uh, the case. So we just don't have enough information to know what happened to Mr. Burton. Anything else you like that? We want anyone, uh, as Ms. Martin uh, expressed, because it's such a secret situation, no one's given us answers, we're concerned they're trying to cover up the death. So if anyone that works for the jail or anyone that was an inmate at the jail from July 15th to July 22nd has any information regarding this case, William Barnett, please give us a call and help us out.